to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, hey, he's right behind us. Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. <laughs> Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I, uh, I just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag, you're it. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. On the hunt? Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big. But I'll have you know, I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs. And he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and well, invisible really, but sometimes, <laughs> They're also very, very jumpy. Hey! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. Get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses, and fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Compsonathuses are found as well. And Compsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eotyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes. We Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat-eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. 
Why? Eh? What saw that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus, keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs, called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia, a place called Minmeath Crossing. Get ready, get set, and... Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, me. what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! Isn't it? Hi, I'm Tyranna 
Pteranodon. You say it. Pteranodon. And it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon. I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well, the secret is that I'm not a... So, okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan. About 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? <laughs> It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> What's up? Me. That's what's up. Look at me. I'm huge. I'm an apatosaurus, and I'm not lying when I tell you that I'm 23 meters long, from nose to tail, like a 10-story building is tall. Excuse me, they told me an apatosaurus was down here, and I'm really hungry. Nope. Not around here. Maybe over there. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm being a tree, because that's what I am. And I made of wood. I taste awful. Okay. You kind of look like an Apatosaurus, though. Nope, I'm a tree. Well, yell if you see one, okay? Yeah, like I'm going to tell Mr. Bottomless Pit over there or anything. Walk with me. My fossil was found in what is now known as the United States of America. 
I am a seropod. Which basically means we walk the lizard walk. We can't help it. It's the way our legs are placed on our bodies. Hell you. What up? Hey, aren't you that tree from before? Nope. I'm a hill. Just a hill. I should tell you, the word Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard. We're always playing tricks. <laughs> That's pan o plo -saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. <laughs> Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. Oh. I have a stiff, clubless tail. And look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, four. Uh, five by eight. Mm, pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. And I weigh three and a half metric tons. The same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada, so can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me, sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Band. Oh, hi! I'm Pina Kosaurus. Say it with me. Pina Kosaurus. That means plank lizard because of our armor plates. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 78 million years ago. This is my band. We don't have a name yet, but that's Ying, that's Yang, and I'm Pin. Wait! Not until I say go. We're ankylosaurs. That means we're armored dinos. We also have big clubs in our tails for defending ourselves. Or making music. No, no, no! I wasn't starting the song. I was showing everyone how I defend myself against a carnivorous dinosaur. <laughs> when our band goes on our first tour, we're gonna leave from what is now China. In fact, we're the best known dinosaurs from China. We'll soon be the best known dino band too. Oops! Very funny! <laughs> These spikes and armor help us to defend ourselves, but they can make it tricky to get around. We're medium sized at five meters long. We're much longer than a golf cart, but we're only one meter high, same as a mailbox. Like other ankylosaurus, we have a beak, which helps us cut low growing plants. We're like dino lawnmowers. Hey! What a great name for our band! Let's show them what the dino lawnmowers are made of! So, enjoy the show! <laughs> <laughs> 